Hello, and welcome to the virtual tour of Velo3D's additive manufacturing technology. I'm Zach Murphy, VP of Technical Partnerships here at Velo3D. Happy to show you around our system, including flow print preparation software, the Sapphire Metal Additive System, and Assure, our quality control and validation software. Welcome to the Velo3D factory tour. My name is Will Hastings. I'm the Director of Aviation and Power Turbine Solutions at Velo3D. At Velo3D, we offer a full stack solution that enables you to easily prepare, print, and validate your designs. This is an all-inclusive solution. All sensors, all parameter sets, all software, all powder handling systems, everything is completely included. Really enabling you to autonomously go from a CAD file to a final printed part. Flow is Velo3D's preprint software where the CAD geometry is imported. It supports native CAD files to retain the original geometry and avoids the need of keeping track of STL files. The user can easily orient the part and add supports and process overrides as necessary. Velo3D's in-depth process library eliminates the need to develop new process parameter sets for specific parts. With over two dozen standardized recipes, Flow can analyze the part and automatically apply the right recipe at the push of a button. This enables months of process development which enables faster time to market and reduces the need for a highly trained specialist to operate the machine. Parts are arranged and then sliced for printing. Instead of having one print file for each machine serial number and each laser calibration, one Velo 3D print file will work on any Sapphire printer anywhere in the world. This drives consistency regardless of where the part was printed. And then this means a scalable supply chain solution that helps you avoid the headache of keeping track of those tens to hundreds of print files. At 315 millimeters in diameter, a single technician can easily load the Sapphire build plate. Since the build plate is attached underneath, there are no bolt hole keep out zones. The build plate is not preheated, which eliminates heat up and cool down wait times. Additionally, there is no need to replace or shim a recoder blade after each build, dramatically simplifying a build changeover. The Velo 3D Sapphire has a very intuitive user interface, which makes it very easy for a technician to come up to speed and learn how to operate the system. Uh, one of the aspects of that that's really important is the calibration of the machine itself. Um, so, if I go here, I can view a screen that shows the entire calibration state of the machine currently. Uh, you can see the values of the calibration, when it was last performed, and if you need to redo a calibration, that's all built into the system as well. If I go to the calibration routines, you can see that we are able to calibrate the beam stability, the laser alignment, the sensor alignment, all from the user interface without the need for any external equipment. This means that a process that normally would take a field service engineer several hours can now take a technician or an operator only minutes. If I go to any one of these submenus, I can then select that specific calibration, run the routine, and get the updated, uh, the updated values for that metrology. It's really important because you need to have a calibrated system in order to print good parts. NASA requires that the optics for a laser powder bed fusion system be calibrated at a minimum of every 90 days. They say that this is a compromise between production efficiency on one hand and quality assurance on the other hand. At Bell 3D, we don't believe that our customers should be required to make that compromise, which is why we've built the pre-build calibration checklist into our machine, allowing for a technician to calibrate the system and the optics of the system fully before every single build. And now for a brief overview of the Sapphire's powder handling system. First off, the, the hoppers were designed to enable a full 400 millimeter tall build. Additionally, the powder is always in an inert environment. From a safety perspective, this is excellent because it separates the technicians from the powder. And then additionally, from a build quality perspective, it's excellent because it separates the powder from the air. 
Additionally, we're powder agnostic. That connects our customers directly to the powder vendors. If you have a powder that you've already characterized and qualified in your supply base, we'll also qualify that powder for you so that it eases the adoption of the Velo 3D suite of technologies into your supply chain. Continuous sieving comes standard on every sapphire. If for some reason there wasn't enough powder to finish the build, powder can be added during the build without interruption. Sapphire's dual 1 kilowatt full field lasers cover the entire build plate, have in situ and runtime overlay calibration, and enable a full 1 kilowatt bulk capability. Velo3D's patented non-contact recoder enables protrusion-tolerant printing, thin walls, and free-floating parts with no connection to the build plate. Assure provides continuous layer-by-layer -layer monitoring during the build and machine and fleet status, including calibration history. HeightMapper provides quantitative measurements of powder bed quality and part protrusions. Assure enables full traceability of system performance to give you confidence that the part meets customer requirements as well as industry standards, exceeding the properties of cast parts. Assure also provides a detailed build report that can be generated on demand. At Velo 3D, we enable you to produce the most challenging geometries with uncompromised quality. There's a natural tension that resides between design and manufacturing. The designer wants the, the thinnest walls, the smoothest surfaces as they chase down the performance of the engine and lower the weight. On the other hand, manufacturing is worried about the manufacturability of the part, the producibility and, and the cost out. With Velo 3D's support-free processes, this means fewer design constraints and really allows you to produce the geometry that you need to meet your customer's spec. In the case of Sierra Turbines, this part would have been completely solid full of supports. However, with Velo 3D's suite of support-free processes, we're able to produce this part with no supports on the inside, which means a, a very easy to manufacture part as you print and cut it off the build plate without the supports being removed on the inside. Really, at the end of the day, this enabled Sierra Turbines to have a manufacturable solution while at the same time meeting the customer's spec. Thanks for joining us today on our virtual tour of Velo3D's metal additive manufacturing technology. If you have any more questions, please go to our website at www.velo3d.com. Thanks.